Let's talk about the difference between RPM and CPM. It's an analytic in YouTube that we use and very confusing. It has to do with how much money you make on how many times your videos watched and then it talks about impressions and things like that. And this is something I dug into because it just wasn't adding up. When I would watch other videos and I kept seeing statistics like you're only going to make about you know $7 for every thousand impressions when mine were different than that. And I'm going to dig in and show you why it's different. And I think that's just a round number that people give, but every video is different. It depends on the topic. It depends on views. It depends on the RPM and the CPM that is offered. And we're going to talk about that today. Now, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can see my videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified as soon as they come out. I usually post them early in the morning so you can get them bright and early while you're having your coffee. <laughs> you can watch the video. All right, so let's get started. I want to take you into my videos, okay? I have a small channel and I think this is vital to share this with people. I had made a video about two weeks ago um, sharing how much money I was making on my video. And actually, on my channel. And actually I was hesitant. I was reluctant to do it because I thought maybe I'm not making that much. And, you know, I was kind of worried about being embarrassed. And it was interesting that I got a couple of comments from people saying, wow, you're doing pretty well. And I even had somebody comment that they had a lot more subscribers and were making less. So that's why I started digging in. Like, why is that? And I think part of the ads, it has to do with the topic that you're sharing how much the CPM is and the RPM. So first of all, let me give you the definition of each, what an RPM is and a CPM. Then we're going to jump into my channel. And I pulled up some videos that I want to compare and show you how much they make and how they're different, even though topics might be similar. Okay. So first of all, RPM is a metric used to determine the total ad revenue that a publisher is set to earn for a thousand ad impressions. Okay, so that is what I reap, RPM. If there's a thousand impressions, the RPM is what I'm going to make from those ads because they're on my video. And I remember that R, you will reap it, right? You collect it. It's mine. The CPM is the amount an advertiser has to pay for those a thousand ad impressions. So cost, that's how I remember that. Somebody has to pay. That's the cost, CPM. I get to reap it, RPM. I hope that that makes sense, that I'll help you remember the difference. All right, so now let's dig in. The first one I wanna show you, this is my uh, number one video, okay? It has 19,000 views, and this is the, um, I'm, I'm taking you over to the revenue page, okay? Here is the CPM. So it costs the person, putting the ads there, $63.65 for each, every thousand impressions. I earn, 1544 for those thousand impressions. So right now with, I, I want you to kind of watch because views does have something to do with it, but these numbers are really important. This one has eight, 19,000 views and has made close to $300. Okay. Now this one's called Hootsuite versus Buffer. I, I did a little um, playlist doing, um, comparing a whole bunch of different social media uh, post planners. Okay. And then I made another one and I did Hootsuite versus Buffer versus, versus Loomly. So I did three. Now notice here, this one only has 1,500 views and the CPM is $79. Now earlier, when it was just the two that I compared, the CPM was $63. So this one, I'm getting paid more for the ads. $34.98 for every thousand. It's like double the money. Now, the reason I didn't make as much money is because I only had 15, close to 1600 views. But imagine if this was 19,000 views, then of course I'm comparing apples to apples, but I'm going to make more money per thousand impressions on this one. Here's another one. Some of these I dug up that were older and I'm trying to show you some of them don't have very many views and things like that. Okay, this one, I was um, how to feature other channels. So this one I talked about YouTube, okay? That's kind of the keyword. I, that's the topic, t uh, YouTube. And it only has about 112 views, not very many. So it didn't make very much money and it won't. 
$10.77 for an ad that they're paying, and I'm only going to make $3.70 per thousand impressions. So this one isn't going to make a lot of money. And this is what you're looking at. This Mainly this number right here, like what am I going to reap for a thousand impressions? All right, the next one that I want to show you is... This was also a, a post planner, and it's in between the other two, or a little bit lower. This one is $55 from the ad being placed, and I get 15, 20 per thousand impressions. Didn't have a lot of views, and I'm just showing you, even when something doesn't have a lot of views, you're still making money. What I want you to get from this video, yes, understand what a CPM is, understand what an RPM is, but notice even on my videos that don't have a lot of views, I'm making money. So I hope this is starting to click with you. I know a lot of times people are thinking, I got to get a video to go viral. Of course, everybody wants it. Everybody wants a million views, but you can still make money. If you never, ever, ever get a million views, you can still make money. Um, look up Evan Carmichael. Um, I remember once I was watching him. I think he has like nine channels going at once. But his philosophy is the more videos you have out there, if they each make a dollar, you're making money. Who cares if each one doesn't have a lot of views? So his philosophy is put out quantity. Now, I know there's other people that will tell you to put out quality. You have to decide yourself what you're going to do. But both plans make sense to me. Um, the quality, quantity. I mean, it, it, they both make sense. You can make money either way. All right. This one was one that um, I use a software tool called ClickFunnels. So I have a whole playlist and I was going in the other day. Actually, that's what motivated me to do this video. I was thinking, oh, I've got all those videos in there. There's like 44 of them. And a lot of them were really short. They were how-to videos. Like as I was learning how to use the software tool, I just kept making videos mainly so I could go back and look at them if I forgot how to do something. What well, was interesting because the CPM on these is $91.72. The RPM, what I reap per thousand is $53. That's huge. And right here, okay, this video, let me watch over here, only has 374 views and I've made 20 bucks. Okay, that's pretty darn good. Now I'm going to show you another video that I had 400 views. That's my next one. Now you would hope it would be at least 20 bucks, but here, this video, look, 400 views and it only made $3 less than 400 views and I made 20. So you need to look at topics as well as views. I know that we, you know, everybody says, you know, you want to get lots of views, 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 views. Well, this one was picking up pretty well. Like people want to know how to make money online, get paid to read, but think about it. Who's going to put an ad on a video like that? And I'm not saying not to do it by all means, but my point is, as you are strategically making your videos and you want to be within your niche, everybody has their main niche. And then I like to call them little pockets or think of a tree with branches. You've got all those subtopics that you can talk about. And obviously on my channel, Making Money Online, um, we talk about affiliate marketing, turn your passion into profit. It can go in a million different directions, to be honest. But you know, I like to make videos like that here and there because there's people that want to make money online, but they don't want to make a YouTube channel and they don't want to turn it into a business. They just want to make a little bit of money on the side. So I have a whole playlist with things like that. Um, I did it for my audience, but at the same time, it's not going to bring in a lot of revenue. And again, I don't want you only to make videos based on revenue. I want you to make them to serve your audience. But obviously, um, this is an area I, you know, I want to look at. It is something that applies and pertains to what I teach. Maybe I want to teach more things in that topic. So I hope you understand the difference. I'm going to bring it up one more time. RPM is a metric used to determine the total ad revenue that a publisher is set to earn for a thousand ad impressions. So you are the publisher. You reap that money, RPM. CPM, on the other hand, is the amount an advertiser will pay for a thousand ad impressions. So it's a cost to the advertiser, CPM. And again, pay attention to that. Maybe, you know, after you make a hundred or so videos, go in and start looking at those analytics. I'll be honest with you. If you're brand new and just starting your channel, you most likely don't have these analytics available yet. I remember when I first started, I don't know how many videos you have to have or how much time you have to have in before it starts 
popping up. But I remember in the beginning, I kept trying to look at my analytics and there was nothing there. So if you're brand spanking new and you're just starting out, don't worry about things like that yet. Right now, what you need to worry about is to get the content out. It's something that people are going to want to see. Make sure you're searchable. Make sure people are looking for what you have. And then you're going to get your views. You're going to get your 4,000 hours and you're going to get your subs. And then the analytics, I think, will start kicking in. So I hope this was helpful. Um, go ahead and, like I said, subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know if there's something else in the analytic department that you would like to know. And I'd be happy to dig in because um, it just makes more sense when um, you start digging in and, and get a little bit clearer explanation of it. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.